We're going to get you to this remarkable interview this Tuesday evening with uh, Port Vale owner Norman Smurthway, who has revealed that he was attacked by three fans last year in the club's car park and was left needing hospital treatment after having two teeth knocked out. Well, Smurthway, who told the police to take no action then, also says his daughter was confronted by fans after a home game in August. And this week... He put the club up for sale after they lost in the FA Cup second round to Exeter, a performance he described as disgusting. The first real red flag, as it were, was in April 14. Uh, I was leaving the club at about quarter to eight at night. I got a box file and I came downstairs and there's three guys outside in the car park where my car was. And I said, listen, chaps, there's nothing going on here. Obviously, there must be a function of time. I said, thanks, Smith. And I turned around with a box to try and juggle the box to get it that was zap through the zapper for my um, boot and somebody hit me over the head with something and I hit the floor and they just started kicking me, uh, badly kicking me, which resulted in loss of two to three and some stitches. And what they were saying was, sort out Mickey Adams' contract, give Tom, an ex Tom Pope as an extension of his contract and leave the club because you're a waste of space. And left me in a pool of blood and disappeared. Uh, when I eventually got home, because obviously I had to go and have some hospital treatment, my wife went off the radar, as you can imagine, and wanted us to leave the club there and then. My daughter had a situation in the August, one of the first home games, where some fans confronted her in the car park and we had, I'm sad it's not there anymore, I has moved on to a steward who moved like a rabbit over to her and got up to her out of arm's way and dealt the situation, which leaves her paranoid. So we've had to make some provisions to, she's, she's, a, she's only four foot nothing and uh, even smaller than Mickey Adams. Um, but um, she really took it badly. My wife took a while to come back to the stadium, and my son hasn't since returned for that reason. Well, Smurthwaite went on to tell us that the final straw for him was that defeat to Exeter on Sunday. He says he struggled with chest pains during the game, he was so angered by the performance that he decided it was time to sell. I was disgusted with the display. Uh, I was embarrassed to be owning the club. It's one of the two times I've ever been embarrassed owning Port Vale Football Club. Uh, I was embarrassed, not only for the people, the feeling of people who were there at the game, the people who were trying to watch it on the segments of TV it's being offered, and anybody associated with the club, I was embarrassed. There wasn't a question of ability, I think it was a question of application and desire. What incensed me more, though, was at the end of the game, as the players and the management left, there was no real recognition of the fans. A couple of players clapped as they left off the field. And something which I was expecting was that because of where, how far we were, 400 plus mile round trip, and how they had performed, or not as the case may be on the pitch, but out of common courtesy, they should have gone over and had just given some form of, expressed some empathy to the people. Not me, not me, but the fans. Because it didn't, that made me even more wound up, maybe not right, the best place to be. And so with that, I literally shot out, well, I wasn't, I wasn't sitting, left the, the boardroom seats, literally went down and went on to each of the coaches. And I recorded, I don't recall it because I was quite wound up, and that's one of the problems, which is why I really want to get out of the pressure cooker. And I said, I've only looked to hear that is so disrespectful and that will be dealt with. Quite amazing, isn't sad it? Story. Sad, sad story. Sad story tonight, hearing that from Norman Smurfway.